we've built a premier irrigation system uh, for decades with the E2 with all the features and all the benefits for the growers with uh, reduced maintenance with all the precision that's into it and how strong and rugged it is this takes it to a whole nother level. E3 is a new model of pivot system that we've developed and it's just a continuation of the innovations and developments that provide and assist farmers in being more efficient. E3 is our future. It's the world's first precision series of center pivot irrigation systems, from the rods to the pipes to the connections to the struts and braces. There's no other product like that in the world. So there's been a lot of thought put into this whole process. How do we make it easier to assemble? What's better for the growers? Uh, how can we utilize that water better, make it more efficient? And how can things be done differently? And from my estimate, it's been about 12 years. You know, features, building on features, and then we just got bigger and bigger and better defined as it evolved. So it's been a, a big push probably the last four or five years to get where we're at today. We had our fair share of changes going forward with this process. Sometimes it was almost like going back to the drawing board again. You know, hey, we like these features, but this doesn't work. So, so how can we keep these features, the precision spacing, but go back to maybe a different pipe size, for example? And, and that, that spacing question really had us challenging the entirety of how it's built from the ground up. You're mixing pipe length with coupler spacing and all the trussing that goes with it. And be able to use those same pipes in all these different configurations. That's a very, very big puzzle. We spent hours and hours on it. Just to make sure it meets what we want it to do. Something that is easier to ship, easier to handle actually fits our manufacturing process. When you get those components, what equipment is going to best serve that and how can you get it done in a way that just doesn't become too co you know, costly and not try to interfere with the integrity of the design that engineering wants. Then we started talking about the components, the individual components, and how we would make them, how they, they would be manufactured. Would it all come off the laser? Would it come off stamping? Uh, dies and off the presses we currently have and uh, what upgrades would we need to the equipment and just started developing from there, building prototypes. And engineering was building the prototypes and testing things. For my department it's twofold, so uh, it's the quality side of it which it deals with the actual production of the product, but I have another side of it that also is dealing with the um, part numbers, the infrastructure that we need to enter into the system. So both sides of that, because it was a, a, a lot of new assemblies that we were going to be entering into the system. After they had decided to proceed with doing E3 and had the design set, then they had um, a meeting for upper management to come in to discuss that this is what we were going to do. And then from that we developed a set of objectives that we wanted to be the focus of the new model and those objectives are what kept us on focus and kept track of what we were trying to do to achieve the final end result. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a team effort. There's a lot of investment, a lot of time. You know, we're doing all this, you know, while we're trying to do our day in and day out jobs, you know. You have operations people, engineering, purchasing quality assurance, you know. So there's, there's a multitude of people um, that across our entire company that have been involved in the development of E3. You know, I've seen a lot of people come and go and, and stuff. And um, designing, building, it's been really good. I think we got the best team since I've ever been here right now. So when we got to the challenging parts of the project, we were really in unison there and, and, and focusing on that together, but more so because we just really work well and it's fun. It's a really great team to be a part of. We are building the finest irrigation system built in the world. 
It is built 100% about uniformity and technology and advancements. When you combine VRI with the coupler spacing that's on E3 with the CropX products and with you know the other things we have from a technology standpoint, the ability to really control how much water you're putting on um, improves everything from your chemical application plan to your water usage. You're going to be very, very good at what you do as a grower. I hope they're excited for the new system. I hope their ex expectations are high like we are here at Ranky Manufacturing. You know, you've heard that this new generation, the C3, is wonderful and it's out of this world, and it is. But is this the end? No. We're just scratching the surface with this type of, of machine and technology. It's just a challenge of it and wanting to make things better for not only for the company, but also for all the people that use our products. They deserve that. This is the beginning of, in my opinion, uh, the future of irrigation for the next generation.